Good morning, Warriors! Back with another episode of Bigger Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, out here getting the car warmed up, so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, do a video for you guys today. Um, first, thanks for all the comments, likes, and all those types of um, donations, things you guys give me. I appreciate that a great deal, as always. Um, the main idea we're trying to do is kind of get this, um, you know, channel to the point where people can, you know, get information and understand uh, from different perspectives to kind of make their own decisions about things. And I think it's great that we're getting higher and higher. I think it's almost like 1,600 subscriptions, so that's wonderful. So I feel very blessed about that. I will put some shout-outs again in the descriptions. Um, any quick thing that I wanted to kind of mention from anybody that was standing out a little bit here... Um, Yes, I, uh, and I'll, I'll probably comment more tomorrow on it, but uh, Herb's at, as Herb ST888, I hope things are going well, my friend. Keep up the battle, keep going. A lot of guys are commenting that it is not the easiest thing in the world, and we know that battle-wise, this is very tough. Not easy with all the temptations out there, but we have to continue to have strategies and things that are going to help us uh, overcome and conquest the battle, the battle for your mind, the battle for your soul, and uh, being able to make uh, wise decisions to be that strong warrior that uh, people want and expect, even in these, in these ages that we are living in right now, that we need strong men that uh, are going to protect, provide, those type of things, and I don't care how old-fashioned that may sound to people and then how a problem it is to people, that's the way it is. And the way it's always going to be because males are males and females are females. Um, so that's the way it is. All right, so this topic today, uh, I want to shout out to Brian Clark and uh, I think it's Fran, Fran Copio. Uh, so Frank Copio, thank you guys and Brian Clark for this. Uh, two types of things. One, uh, Brian's talking about renewing of your mind. And the other one is the how to gain high intuition through uh, seam retention. And that's, um, and Franc uh, Francopio uh, had mentioned that one. So let's talk about that one a little bit too. So one of the benefits that we don't really mention a lot of, but we should talk more about, is the fact that as you're retaining more, and I'm at 940 some days of not releasing, you're at the point where now you are thinking so much more of other types of things. So you're not focusing on women, so you're focusing on a higher level of intuition, a higher level of thinking. Because you want to achieve your goals, you want to go ahead and uh, accomplish your purposes, and you have set things you want to do. And so the way your mind works, in my opinion at least, is that you're going to focus on those things that you want. It's almost like those ideas that they've talked about before. The more you focus on something, the more those things come to light. You ever walk down the street one day and you're thinking about something and it just seems to, to happen or you find signs that it happened. I personally think that the more you concentrate on something, the more those things will appear to you. They're, they've been always there, but you don't really notice those things until you focus on them. And so I think that's the same thing when it comes to women and uh, the lack of women when it comes to semen retention. If you really want to focus on semen retention, you can actually do that by thinking in those terms that you basically want to be a strong masculine male and you don't need to be releasing all the time and doing those type of things. On the other hand, part of the problem is, is that when we're looking at... Um, you know, temptation, those things tend to override you because those instincts we have. And that's what we have to kind of avoid as you go through. So the tuition, the intuition is very strong. I think that it's almost not like a spidey, a Spider-Man sense, like the sixth sense or something like that, but it's something that gives you some ideas about things. And, and of course, if you're going to spend your time working on your goals, you're going to notice these things even more when you're on retention. You know, you're going to focus on a stronger m memory. You're going to struck. Uh, you're going to have a stronger focus, because a lot of times what happens is that you're going to kind of put away all those other things, and you're going to focus on those goals and things you want. So it's almost like a magnet. And we've talked about this a little bit before that you attract those things as you think about them. So if your goal is to make a million dollars this year. 
you're going to find ways to do that. Now, you know, you have to kind of step through and do it. And some of that takes courage and risk taking and things like that. But eventually you'll be moving in a direction. And let's face it, doing something is better than nothing. Sitting there and just kind of hoping for it and wishing for it is not going to get you there. I think your courage and level, especially when you're on retention, once again, and people have said this in the comments, you feel a strong overpower uh, when you're on retention because you have all that inside of you. And that can be transmuted and used for lots of different things. And one of those things is setting goals, working on things, kind of moving in that direction and using all that great energy that you have for a good purpose. And so, yes, you are renewing your mind. You are basically changing the way you think about things. Um, you know, a lot of times we kind of think in these terms of barbarian types of things where, you know, we're a man, uh, a woman is a woman, you have to go, you know, you gotta procreate, you gotta chase the woman, all these type of things. That's kind of like the cavemen types of days that we have. And there's people out there still thinking those type of terms, right? And that's the major purpose some people think that we have. And though that is a purpose in some regards, you know, as you look at this, I mean, obviously you want to kind of continue the generation and move ahead. There's a lot more to helping what God's purpose is on this earth than just doing that. And I think if you just only focus on that, you're going to struggle trying to overcome that because that's what you're thinking about. If you're thinking about releasing and even not thinking about not releasing, you're still using the word releasing in your thoughts. And those are the types of things you have to get, you got to get away from. You've got to totally start thinking away, away from that. Think in terms of goals and reaching a different, higher level plane. And that's both what Brian Clark and um, uh, uh, Franz Copio was talking about. You're renewing your mind and you're getting to a higher intuition. You're going to think of those things. You're not going to be thinking about women. And so now you have time to listen to yourself. And intuition also comes from inside of you. You know, I believe intuition, part of it is God talking to you. And God is basically saying things to you. And you're able more to talk with God and relate to God the less you're thinking about women and, and kind of lusting after women all day long. And that's another type of thing that helps you when it comes to your intuition and thinking about things and, and make, having flashes here and there that's going to give you ideas. And a lot of times I keep a notebook or something close to my bed because a lot of times good ideas come in the middle of the night or I'm thinking about things and I can write it down. Now, not all of them have been very good. Some have been bad. Some have been very good. Some have been made money. Some haven't been made money. But the thing is, you're basically thinking of ideas that are going to kind of get you closer to that goal. And so instead of thinking about women and having all kinds of dreams and things like that, you're thinking about trying to succeed, whether it means getting a uh, you know, million dollars a year, whether it's, it's trying to uh, get a six pack of abs, whatever it might be. Those are the types of goals you're going to have, and so you're going to continue to strive to work for those things. And sometimes it doesn't come overnight. You know, it took me 47 years to even get on a streak that I'm in now. So that's a long time. Uh, and one of the reasons, obviously, I'm doing this is try to help uh, some of you guys in the audience not have that, you know, that 47 years of, of kind of waiting and doing it. But we all have to take our time at certain points, and we all get to that level. So as I'm in 940 some days, I can tell you that this is well worth it in my opinion to uh, kind of be on this track. And like we just said, a couple of those things we just talked about, you are kind of renewing your whole mind. Your mind is changing. You're not in that same mode you were in before. And that's what that's the difference is. And it's a different type of thinking. It's a thinking that you're not focusing on women. You're not focusing on the that chakra. You're focusing on your whole body. And now this is just another part of your life that you're dealing with. And, and part of the issue is that women recognize that subconsciously. And that's another reason why they pay a lot more attention to you. They're thinking, wow, what's happening? He's not paying attention. He's not lusting after us anymore. What's happening here? And it's because you're, oh, you're a whole different thinking process. You're looking at renewing of your whole thought pattern of saying, I'm going to direct all my energy now to making myself a better person, achieving goals and things like that. 
and you're obviously going to get a lot more traction uh, and all those different types of things and benefits you have. The question then becomes, you have to make a choice on what types of things are going to better your life. If you make wrong choices, you're going to go back into that type of pattern and have to kind of start again on the whole process. So, again, thank you guys. Uh, Brian Clark, thank you. for uh, Francopio, thank you guys for your comments. Once again, you are going to renew your mind through some retention. You get a higher intuition because things are, you're thinking about things you want to accomplish and those type of things will come to you easier. It's almost like you attract like ideas. And so if you're walking down the street, you might pop into your head an idea about achieving a goal, accomplishing this or accomplishing this type of thing, helping you, a different type of exercise, a different type of way to do the job or something like that. Those things will help you, but you have to listen to that more because you have to listen to the Lord as you're talking, and those type of things come more with you know, in my book, retention and not focusing on women, but focusing on God and yourself. So, all right, my friends, have a good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, have a great day. I'll try to do one this weekend if I get a chance to. But until then, guys, have a great day. God bless each and every one of you. And remember, every day is a new day to a wise warrior. Battle on, my friends. Battle on.